spot out, out here at, at 10 o'clock, so we're going we're gonna to go through this pretty quick. We've got two more speakers. Um, first up is, is Paula Garcia, just to, just to talk a little bit about acequias and, and the work we've been doing um, today. Buenos dias, let's say adios a todos. I want to thank uh, Phoebe Suina and welcome her to Mora. Uh, her, her words of experience and wisdom and uh, knowledge as an engineer and technologist are very important. Her message is very important for us. Uh, but first I want to say that when I hear about people's homes, I still get choked up when I hear about our forests. And uh, my heart is with all of you. I know we're all hurting about the fire. I'm here to talk about the post-fire flooding and how that relates to Aseca. And um, a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it very short. Uh, the flooding that could happen is something that we may have never seen before in our communities. We're used to seeing monsoons, but there could be something uh, bigger coming, depending uh, on the fire, the burn scar. There's a lot of uncertainty, and we don't know when it's going to happen. But your local knowledge is important in watching the weather come in, like Phoebe said. Um, one of the things we want to do with the Azequias is we're doing an Azequia mapping project. And I see, uh, how many people here are Marlomos or commissioners? or parciantes. So um, if we haven't talked to you yet, uh, please come and talk to me. The reason we're uh, mapping the acequias is for two reasons. One, we want to make sure they're on the map that the agencies are using <coughs> so that we can do temporary protective measures on your acequias. I can't, we can't guarantee they can be saved in the flood. We don't know how bad floods are going to be, but we want to try and protect them. And uh, it's important we got some consultation from the hydrologists and engineers that Marlomos, it's important to close your head gates if you think it's going to flood. And we're worried more about debris flow. The, the debris flow is going to be the, the branches and the rocks uh, that come down through the flood that can damage your structures. So those are the two things um, I wanted to tell you about the, the pre-flood work. The second reason we're, we're mapping is that if you end up sustaining damage, and want to do a FEMA claim, um, we're going to be uh, requesting post-flood mitigation resources if they're damaged or if they're destroyed or because of flooding. And they have to be well documented. That means we want a map with a line and pictures of all the different structures on your acequias. Where the, the reason is because whatever happens, we love this land, we will rebuild, and we'll keep this community going for future generations. One other thing is that we will, uh, we're also doing a hay distribution project um, if for, for uh, farmers, ranchers. Um, it's to complement what the livestock board is already doing. So they're already doing some important work. We're just kind of supplementing that because there's great, great need in our agricultural community. We were already suffering from drought. And now this, it's a lot to bear. So um, I know there's a lot of need in the community, so please see me if you're interested in our hay distribution project. And uh, that's, uh, I think that's the main thing on the The only other thing I was going to say is uh, to provide some perspective on, on how the different agencies are going to work in the watershed. Forest Service is only going to work on Forest Service lands. And then there's the private lands, and that's where you're going to talk to NRCS, the Emergency Watershed Program. And they're going to do a presentation on that. So even, you know, so I'm here talking about Asenkias, but for all of you who are landowners, there are things you can do on your property to try to protect your home from the flooding. So they're going to talk about that. Um, so please come see me about the second mapping and about the hay distribution project. And know that my, my prayers are with everyone. We're all in this together. Uh, we love this beautiful place that we've been caretakers for for generations. Uh, it's our herencia, it's our herencia, and we will stay and we are going to um, love this land no matter what with her burn scars and we will heal together. Thank you everybody.